Okay, so I've been asked a few times, you know, about the camper, the car here that's sort of like all the micro camper and how I'm squeezing in there and sleeping in there when I'm camping in it. And I try not to do it if I don't have to, put it that way. That's the first thing. <laughs> that being said, it's a fun little adventure. Um, well, I tried this morning. I've been wondering if I could get away with pulling the seats out and making a more comfortable bed in here in the back. Uh, now, you've probably seen like some Prius uh, setups where people are able to fold down seats. This car does not have fold down seats, unfortunately. Um, the back seat doesn't fold down, nor does the front passenger seat. So, uh, basically, in order to put a bed along the uh, the passenger side, like you see people doing Priuses, I'd have to remove the front seat, remove the back seat, and uh, and that, that means I wouldn't be able to carry a passenger uh, because you know even even as far as definitely riding the back seat, there'd be no back seat, so I have to take the back seat out to to do that. And then I could get my six foot in, six plus foot, and that would work fine. I just would lose the ability to carry a passenger. So I was trying to do is see if I could pull out the back seat here and 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 make a bed in there. If I would have just six feet of room between the back here and between the seat back uh, while it was sitting upright, and turns out it's closer to like five feet. And just so you guys know, he's not getting kicked out and having to sleep in the Echo. He also wants to make trips to Wyoming to see his kids that I might not be able to go with him on. Just wanted to right. clarify just, just, that. Just trying to find a slightly more, the seat, I should say, this, the passenger seat goes almost flat. I can sleep in it pretty darn comfortably. After a few nights, you know, you kind of like to spread out a little more. And so that's why I was trying to see if I could pull that off. And the stealth would be better. I wouldn't have to worry about tint the front windows if I was all the way in the back. So I already have this Reflectix on the side windows, which one of my other projects, I need to put fabric over them to make them black out instead of just uh, Reflectix now. So plan B, that didn't quite work. Maybe I can go sideways. Okay, well, I can barely go. <laughs> this car is so small. I told you once before, last day I was, or the last day or two I was up in, in Wyoming. My four-year-old granddaughter, Mackenzie, looks out the house window for the door and goes, Pops, is that your car? Yes, Mackenzie, it is. That's a little car. <laughs> yes, it is a little car, Mackenzie. So literally from this corner here going up, I can just get six feet to the corner between this door and the seat and all the way back. So it technically might be able to make that work. I'd have to use a full-width plywood platform, brace it in the back, and I, it's still, I just don't know how comfortable that would be, you know? And uh, the spare tires underneath here, I already don't have a lot of cargo room, so if I want to be able to access the spare tire, then I have to hinge that thing so I can take everything out, lift up that deck, and get my spare tire and jack out, or I have to pull them out and put them up top while I'm sleeping diagonally, but then, again, I don't have much cargo room to start with, so. Um, I decided against doing it uh so I, I took the seats out and measured and that's really the only way i could get that accurate measurement was to pull the seats so uh fortunately that wasn't too difficult so i'm going to put this back seat back in now the the bench and the seat back and that'll be out for this project